My name is Brother Kenneth Nebue. Welcome to another day of mercy and grace. Another day of watching and waiting for the coming of the Lord. I want you to draw your ears to this video and receive a warning. It takes the grace of God to know and understand the will of God for your soul. Our soul is the reason we come to Jesus. If you fail to know this and understand it, you may cry and weep had I know at the end. First of all, let us stop playing religion with our soul. Your soul is eternal and we never receive a second chance if you reject the call of Christ to watch and to follow the way he is wanting us to go. One that is watching for the coming of the Lord will never be confused by the events in the world. One that is waiting for the coming of the Lord will never be moved from the truth. Neither will he be deceived by the falsehood in many churches today. A true believer in Christ who is awake in the spirit will prepare himself for the worst that may happen as he is bearing his cross following the Lord. A true believer in Christ who is alive in the spirit should know that the worst that may happen as he is enduring the weight of his cross is dead and so prepares for it. Yesterday, many believers in Christ turned back from the Lord and went in the way that leads back to the world. Some are saying they can no longer bear the suffering associated with the cross. Others are saying that the ridicule and shame in the cross is too much to bear, that they will prefer to follow the churches in the world to eternity because they have no cross bearing. Now, these are the reasons many followers of Christ has gone back to the world. The Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 4, where he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and they follow him, for they know his voice. True believers in Christ are following Jesus very closely. Because they are very close to Jesus. They know his voice and hear his word. Because they are very close to Jesus, they can no longer hear what the word is saying against their faith. They can no longer hear the ridicule and jesting coming from old friends and associates. Their ears are only open to eternal promises of Christ. But those who are following Jesus from afar can no longer hear from Jesus because they are closer to the world. Every word coming from Jesus to save them will be choked by the noise of the world. Because they are closer to the world, the ridicule and jesting coming from their friends and their call and pleading for them to return back to the world are louder in their ears. Because they are closer to the world, they see more of the world than they see Jesus. They see more of their friends in the world than they see Jesus. They see more of the businesses in the world than they see Jesus. They see more of the churches in the world than they see Jesus. No doubt, you have started drifting back to the world. You are already losing the battle and struggle to continue with Jesus. But my question is, why do you want to draw back, knowing the eternal consequence afterward? Let me tell you a story of what I saw on WhatsApp. It is a story of a girl killed in a hotel room. She was killed the way butchers kill and roast a goat before selling to buyers. 
She was called from the heart, through the belly, and down below to remove every organ of her body. No doubt she went to the hotel for an immoral affair. Maybe she's a sex worker. Maybe she went for a good time with her whole boyfriend. Or maybe she went to meet a friend she found on Facebook. But whatsoever reason, she was found dead in a hotel room. Sin may not be far from me. This is the consequence of following Jesus from afar. My question again is, why are you following Jesus from afar? Have you counted the cost if your soul should be lost? The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 39, But we are not of them that draw back unto perdition but of them that believe in the saving of the soul. If we are of them that believe in the saving of the soul, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? The Bible says, Nay! In all these things, we are more than conquerors. For I am persuaded that neither life, nor death, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Will you still go back to the world? No. Hold on to faith. Jesus is so close. Hold on to faith. You will soon rejoice in the everlasting promise of God. I want you to know that we are praying for you. We are praying for your salvation. That God will grant you a decisive grace to repent. And forsake your sin because it is end time. Mara para me quere, Mara para me chegaria, Mara para me quere, Ayagidi, no bochaho, Aqua, Mara para me quere, Mara para me chegaria, Mara para me quere. Ayagidi no botia ho aqua mara para me quere mara para me chegaria mara para me quere ayagidi no botia ho you will not perish with the world in Jesus name amen god bless you